Let's quickly get you the latest updates from around the world amidst the coronavirus outbreak. The deadly virus has spread to 28 countries now. Latest coming in is that Iran has evacuated 56 of its own citizens, 59 Iraqis, 24 Syrians and one Lebanese from Wuhan, the epicenter of the deadly virus outbreak. Uzbekistan has also evacuated 84 people from China's Wuhan. Ten people on a Japanese cruise ship have tested positive for the coronavirus, while all 3,700 crew and passengers will be quarantined on board. The ten people came in contact with an infected 80-year-old man who got off the ship in Hong Kong. This brings the infected cases in Japan to 33. In Hong Kong, medical workers and residents are continuing their strike. The strike was called by 6,500 member workers' union who have raised five demands. First, the government to fully close the border with mainland China. Second, facilitate the proper distribution of masks among the public. Third demand, ensure that frontline medical workers have adequate supplies and protection. Fourth, provide enough isolation wards for the patients. And lastly, that the strike would result in no negative reprisals against the medical staff. The union have vowed to continue the strike if the demands are not met. Hong Kong has also recorded four new cases, bringing the infected cases to 18. Earlier, Hong Kong also confirmed a death due to the deadly virus. Some emergency services have been severely affected by the strike. The latest epidemic has brought back memories of in Hong Kong of the 2003 SARS outbreak, another cor coronavirus that had emerged from China and killed nearly 300 people in the city. Thailand, meanwhile, has uh, confirmed six more cases, raising the infected toll to 25. The Thailand government has also evacuated its citizens from the epicenter of the virus, that is Wuhan. U.S. President Donald Trump has also promised to protect its citizens' health. There are currently 11 infected patients in the United States. In his State of the Union speech, Donald Trump also said that his administration is closely working with the Chinese government. Protecting Americans' health also means fighting infectious diseases. We are coordinating with the Chinese government and working closely together on the coronavirus outbreak in China. My administration will take all necessary steps to safeguard our citizens from this threat. After Belgium confirmed its first case, seven people have been put in isolation wards in bordering France. Even though no African nation has confirmed a case of the novel coronavirus, an African person based in China has tested positive. The 21-year-old Cameroonian is a student at Yangtze University in Jingzhou. He is currently under treatment at a hospital. This student had travelled to the city of Wuhan on January 19th before a lockdown was put in place in the city. Back in the African continent, three countries, that are Kenya, Botswana and Nigeria, have reported suspected cases. Africa-based airlines, except for Ethiopian airlines, have cancelled flights to China. Now let's get you and bring you a list of all the global virus infections that our world has faced in the last 50 years. Ebola hit in 1976. That killed over 13,000 people. SARS hit in 2002 and killed nearly 800 people. Swine flu in 2009 killed close to 300,000 people. MERS in 2019 killed over 800,000. And now coronavirus is a global health emergency that has been declared by the World Health Organization. It has spread to 28 countries worldwide, including all the G7 nations. China itself has more than 20,000 infected cases. The death toll has crossed the 490 mark. So just to recap, on your screens right now is a global map that shows all the countries with reported cases of the coronavirus. Hong Kong and Philippines are the two places to have confirmed casualties outside mainland China. All the G7 nations most of the developed nations in Europe have reported confirmed coronavirus cases. There are three cases in India and even as far as Australia, there are 12 people who are infected. The World Health Organization has called for drastic measures and 
the spread of awareness to battle the spread of this disease.